How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? I am How are you? better than I deserve. Uh, so <clears throat> I, I'm curious about something, and it's something that um, may be helpful to us both. Um, you, when you enrolled, um, you struggled with money, and obviously, I feel maybe had didn't have any resources with which to do trading, right? In other words, it was all about just come aboard, be an affiliate, rock and roll. Am I right? Exactly. So, in other words, you didn't allow the lack of having a trading account get in your way. Exactly. Would you mind? I think this could turn into a video that would be very helpful to us both. <laughs> in other words, the, the idea that to answer the objection that people often have, which is, oh, I got to have my trading account then and only then I'll get started. Um, I don't think is right. In other words, you did something to use third party from you couldn't have a trading account, even if you wanted one. Is that right? Exactly. So you got busy in spite of that. And in other words, and clearly did a whole lot of things right, took a lot of action as an affiliate. And what I'm trying to get across to people is, you know, if you, if you allow that to get in your way, number one, there's no need to do that. You can use third party, you know, people that already have good trading results, people that already have results in general. Mm. And the money that you'll make trading is dependent on the money you have with which to trade. Well, you know, the old adage is it takes money to make money plays here too. Yes. Can you make decent returns on, on a, a small account? You can, but it's, it's not a significant number. Mm. On the other hand, an affiliate is a whole different equation, meaning you can dramatically and rapidly change your financial destiny as you are living proof of. Um, that's that's th something that I just thought would really resonate with people is hearing that from you. You know, what did you do to overcome that issue? Because clearly you did. You know, how did you go about it? Did you let it get in your way? Okay. Uh, one of the important things is that uh, when someone gets into an opportunity, I personally, I would love to look where too much money is. And uh, when I got into Royal Q, I looked that uh, the too much money is on the affiliate side because the amount of money you make is not limited by anything because the trading profits are limited by the market and the capital. Mm -hmm. So I had discovered that if I had good capital, I would be making sweet profits. You allow me to show you, to share my screen, to yes, evidence please. this, uh, some of the copy traders that are into the, the Royal Key platform, because these traders that are here are copy traders. Mm -hmm. And uh, I usually love all the time talk about uh, DNAV's bro as one of the copy traders, because mm -hmm. he has proven out of reasonable doubt. He's a trader like anybody who could join Royal Q and start trading. Mm -hmm. But if whenever I came to look at uh, his trading profits, I used to find $350, $426, Three hundred and thirty-nine, three hundred and thirty-six, four hundred and twenty-five, seven hundred and eighty-four, four hundred and fourteen. Right, and uh, it was a continuous scenario every single day, every single day. Right, even when I looked through his history for a very long time, as he was trading, let me block this. Whenever I used to look at uh, his trading profits, he had consistent everyday results. Wow consistent everyday result. So when I, when I consistently kept on looking at uh, some of these copy traders, even without copying them, even without copying their results, 
I could see consistent results every single day. Now, it opened up my mind and uh, it gave me a feeling that uh, if someone has good capital, they can consistently as traders make profit. So at first, when I got started, I was thinking I needed to work so hard, find the capital so that I could hit uh, the, the belt with two. I could strike it twice. I make money from my trading profits as I make money from the network. Mm -hmm. But the standard block was the money to put in the wallet. So right. I say so so in other words, in other words, you know, you saw that you wanted to make money from both places, but recognized you needed to work on getting enough capital to make it significant on the trading yes. side. Exactly. And I looked at uh, a significant trading capital to be ten thousand mm dollars. -hmm. That is the money I looked at to be a significant capital. If someone has ten thousand dollars, they have more potential of making profits per day. Ten thousand mm dollars. -hmm. So I discovered that even if someone is trading with one thousand dollar, two thousand dollars, they could make profits once in a while. But if someone raises their capital to ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, they have ability and potential to make profits per day. Mm -hmm. Now that gave me a different feeling to the opportunity. It gave me an understanding that I need good capital to get consistent results for my trades. So my trading profits would be limited by the market and by my capital. Mm -hmm. So I said, now, where am I going to save myself? I looked at uh, the, the affiliate program and I said, if Julius doesn't have money, uh, Mr. Robert might have the money. And uh, he's looking where to put his money Mm -hmm. that he has accessibility control of his own money. Mm -hmm. So I had to go outside there and look for the people that have that same feeling. They're looking where they could invest their money. They have the money, but they don't know where they could invest the money. And those are the people I was looking for. Two, I was looking for the people that still don't have the money like me, but they can take the time to go outside there Mm -hmm. and look for people that are looking where to invest their money. Because I personally believe in two things. You either have the time or have the money. If you don't have the money, then you need to have the time that mm -hmm. you can invest in talking to other people about your idea. So I was going outside there to sell the idea. Now, the other challenge was that I was broke. You know, there are two things that could cause people to get out of their comfort zone. One, an empty stomach. Hmm. If someone has an empty stomach, they find a way to find what to eat. That was the life I was living. It was an empty stomach lifestyle. Hmm. So That's an a empty motivator, stomach, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I, was, I was hungry. I lacked what to eat. It's true I had bought a sack of rice, which I still have right now in my cupboard. But the challenge is that um, I was tired of eating the rice every day. Mm -hmm. Just I had bought the rice on my first day when I sponsored my first person with $30, but I was tired of eating the rice every day. So I had to find a better way to find money so that I eat other types of food. So the hungry stomach was an important motivator. Mm -hmm. Two, the empty wallets. Not having money per day, why closed in a in, in home during that time of COVID? not able to move, but without money, I usually imagine because during those times when people got sick of COVID in my country, the bills were very expensive. So I usually imagined how if I'm cold and my, 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 my relatives have issues with their health. Yes, it is true. I have a medical background, but I cannot help without money. All right. All right. So being an empty stomach, being broke at the same time, caused me to get out of my comfort zone, to decide to go and share the opportunity too. I never cared about the rejections because I was hungry. I never cared about the noise because I was hungry. I, yep. I cared about 
having results. Secondly, taking too long without results. I had taken too long in network marketing without results. I had done uh, product companies. Mm -hmm. I had done product companies for a very long time without results. I had uh, sold products. I was just making pennies for survival. I was far behind my goals and my dreams. So having stayed in network marketing for some time without results, when I looked at these opportunities, it was very easy. Mm -hmm. These are my reasons why Royal Kizan is a business. One, everybody in the world is looking for money every single day. Whenever they wake up, they're looking for money. Whenever they breathe, they're looking for money. Even up to now, people are having sleepless nights looking for money. So I had found a business for the lazy people. Anybody who's lazy and is looking for money, this was the right opportunity for them. Why? Because they just need to get their money into their Binance, Coinbase, or Hobby. Have a robot. Let the robot trade. They don't need to talk to anyone. They are lazy. Can, their laziness can pay them. Mm -hmm. So I found this being easy because in my previous opportunity, I only used to make money when I recruit. Yeah. If I don't recruit, yeah. I don't earn. Yeah. So I had a business for every lazy person. You don't need to recruit. You don't need to talk to anybody. Uh, you have your money. Yes. Put it here. Let the robot make the money for you. Well, and, and a common theme in those that have money, you know, if they, they're, they're going to want to get good results, people that have money generally want to make more of it. Maybe they don't want to recruit. Maybe they don't want to be in the business. But the idea that the product itself is something that creates income for them. Poof. <laughs> so anybody who was not interested in the network, I could uh, get them on board. Mm -hmm. Two, I had a goal. I usually tell people I had a goal. My first goal in the business was to make my first $10,000 within, within one month. I had a goal. I said, I told God if I could be able to make $10,000 a day, my life could never be the same. If I could make $10,000 every single day, my life could never be the same. So every day I could imagine having made my first $10,000, how my life will change. As you see me here, this so far, it was, it was not there. I was um, seated down here. I was sleeping on the carpet. <laughs> By then I was sleeping on the carpet. Life was hard. So I imagined how I could sleep. I imagined how I could be watching a very nice TV. I imagined, I imagined my life could change with my first $10,000. And so with the imagination and the goal, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so uh, I believe if someone says they don't have the capital to trade, if they can have 120 and activate the robot, it's enough for them to change their lives. Amen. Because every it took to the earn thirty dollars. So I usually imagined if I talked to a hundred people, I could make thirty thousand dollars. Said what? I could make around three thousand dollars. Then I said what? How, how could this money change your life? When I calculated it to my local currency, it looked huge. Hmm. Hmm. Now the other issue that motivated me is that whoever person I talked to used to say yes. I had no objections. I had never done a business that has few objections like Royal Q. Mm -hmm. Everybody I was speaking to was telling me, hey, I can, it's okay, Julius, send me the link. Let me have the app. Let me have the app. Let me have the app. Okay. Then let us activate. I found the business simple. Everybody was interested. Mm -hmm. I've never done a business like this one where you speak to someone, you speak to 10, Nine are positive, one is negative. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I usually focused on my activity than on my results. One of the challenges that, that is affecting so many people with our businesses is that they focus on the results. I never focused on my results. I focused on my activity. Like today, uh, today I'm designing my new 90 days program where I'm going to be running 90 days and my goal is to make um, uh, close to $300,000 in the next 90 days that I'm launching tonight. So when I sit down today and I looked at uh, how I could use the $300,000 
if I make them in three three months, I imagined how much this money could now take me to another level financially. And whenever I imagine and get the big picture of the results, I never care about the results. I just care about the destination. Now I focus so much on the activity. So when I focus on the activity, but I know the end results, I find myself being motivated every single day. I lose the sleep. Like it's, it's about to get to midnight here. I've already lost the sleep because now I imagine. I've already imagined. Uh, I've even spoken to one broker in Kampala where I'm going to buy a building. So I'm going to be purchasing my first building, my storage building. I've already talked to a broker. So it means finding one in a suitable area. So he's finding the building because it's my goal. I want to buy a building around $200,000. I have another goal of funding my accounts with 100,000, around 15 Binance, around 13 Hobby and 20 Coinbase. So it's around 100,000 trading capital plus 200,000 for the building. So when I imagine that into my mindset and look at it and how it could lift me financially, then I become non-stoppable. The challenge is that uh, if someone starts without a goal, because if someone starts without a goal and uh, that goal is the money goal, which is the motivation, and imagines how this money could take them and what it could do for them, and they have what they're going to use it for, not just receiving it. They know I'm going to use this money to purchase this and this. And that's how it was motivating me. Whenever I used to sleep in, in this house, because I haven't shifted to my new house, I used to imagine if I get this money, I'll be able to purchase myself a house. And remember the day I purchased the house, I woke up one day and I told, I called my mother, told her, I'm going to buy a house today. She told me, are you serious? I told her, yes. So I called my broker and I told him, I'm, I want to find a house. They took me to 14 houses. And when I reached one that looked so nice, I said, I'm buying this. Then they told me, when are you buying? I told them, I'm buying today. Then they said, you seem not to have the money. I had the money in my house. So I came back home. Because I'm, I don't bank money. My person, I don't bank money. So I had transferred the money two days ago, slowly in little bits, and I stored it in my house. So I told uh, the broker that, uh, let us go. I have the money. He didn't expect. So I came back home, collected the money, sat in a small, small car. Then I went and I paid. I told them I'm paying cash. They were surprised whether I have the money. Today, as I speak tomorrow, all these brokers are signing up with Royal Q. They have been surprised. So when I started, I had a goal. I had a goal and I said, if I make $10,000, I could buy myself a house. When I reached $10,000, I said, but the money I have is not enough for my house. So I need to increase. I need to increase the money because uh, in my country, my house is around, uh, it's around uh, 41 million Ugandan shillings, which, is, um, which could be around... Uh, 10,000, I think it's around uh, 11,000, I think like that, like $11,000, that's the money. So I had the goal to, to have $11,000. So when I, when, I, when I had the cash, they said, okay, now I'm done with the house, but how will I be able to travel? I need a car. So I said, okay, now how much is the car I'm going to buy? I called my broker, I told him I want a car, a car dealer, he told me, okay, he had different cars. My first car purchase could go, uh, was very expensive. So around uh, 60 million Ugandan shillings. So I said, oh, 60 million is too much. Uh, how can I reduce? Then they told me, okay, we could have you this card, 45 million. So I said, okay, I've been saving my money and uh, I'm now going to buy the car. So I'm paying cash. They said, are you serious? I said, I'm paying cash. Maybe you will delay shipping it here in my country. So I believe if someone could understand how this money could change their lives if they draw the picture. You, I usually call it having the end in the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't focus on the current situation. I focus on the end in the mind. Like I've told you, I was speaking to my friend while I'm leaving my parking. I told him, if I make $300,000 and I buy a storied house in, in the major city in Uganda and I finish my trading account in the next three months from now, my life will be different. So when I look at that big picture, then I'm going to work nonstop the last 10 days that I'm making December, the, the 29 days that make January, 
February and March. And the first quarter of the year, if I get this goal done, it will give me a big momentum for the next quarter of the year. So I believe people should, um, should have the end in mind, the big picture of their journey. So it really motivates someone to get out of their comfort zone to go and talk to people about the opportunity. So funding your trading account these days isn't the problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, now I have knows. no issues with trading because when mm -hmm. I started, I was on trade. I didn't have the money to trade because right. first of all, I didn't have food. You cannot tell me to trade without food. Mm -hmm. That's that's hard to, it's 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 so out of. I, I can't imagine. It, it's just it's so difficult to imagine that and and to have somebody do what you did in spite of that obstacle, just all the more remarkable. You know, it's it's, it's difficult. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and most importantly, I, I don't share this, but my upline started trading with $400. He was trading $400 and uh, I didn't have money to trade. So I told myself, okay, I'm going to talk to people. Yeah. And uh, let me just show you. Let me share. That, that D Nevs, by the way, just as a quick aside, uh, I went over and looked at him. I appreciate that especially seeing the results that you had gotten there with, with the other two. But when you go and look at him and you see that he is, is one of the first traders and he is trading right now on Coinbase pro, that was a real good catch. So thank you. Yeah. Not, right. not only is he trading there, but he's obviously a very good trader. So that's super. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I don't know why it's not going down. I wanted to show you what happened when I got started in the business. And uh, I've really, if I calculate both my earnings, my tradings, and my profits, I already hit $60,000 six months in a business. And um, okay, let me see. I don't know why it's loading very slow. Let me just get it here. Okay. See if I could run faster. All right, so my list come back here. Let's share my screen. Okay, my list, right? But this is how I got started on the 12th of June. All right, I decided to share the opportunity, and this was my first 30 dollars. Mm -hmm. When I made the 30 dollars and um, I got this money from my Royal Queue. I bought uh, fourteen dollars. I paid for my Zoom. The other remaining balance, I bought rice. The next day, the thirteenth of June, then I didn't make any money. On the fourteenth, I saw this zero point zero seven one six. I said, "What? Do I get paid when other people are trading?" And the answer was yes. Mm -hmm. I discovered I could become rich fast because, as other people are trading, I also get paid. On the 15th of June, 2021, I made 0 0.03508. And when I discovered that I can make money while other people are trading without bringing them, you know, at first it was, it looked like I only get paid when I recruit. And I was sick and tired of that situation because that was my previous history in other companies. Mm -hmm. on, and when I recruit, but I saw, after recruiting someone, as they're earning, I'm earning. On the 16th of June, I became crazy. I shared my opportunity, I think, to over, uh, seven, I think around 30 to 25 people and two signed up immediately. Mm -hmm. And on the 17th of June, the next day, and I made $70. So how I many, how many did you talk to? To get the two that enrolled? I think around, around 25, 25 on that day. Okay. So in other words, you take 60, divide by 25. Each contact, whether they said yes or no, was worth $2.40. Exactly. Thanks for the no. So Next. <laughs> Thanks for the no. So on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on the 18th, I made little money. Mm -hmm. On the 19th, I didn't sleep. On the 19th, I didn't sleep. I spoke to leader Doris, Doris Angel, who got started with $30.
Mm. That was my last day to poverty. Hmm. After eight days of the business, it was my last day to poverty. Because on the 20th, I didn't make money, but uh, we were speaking to a lot of people, a lot of people. And on the 21st, you see, those are um, around, uh, that was uh, my my 10th day, if I could uh, shortcut it around the eighth and uh, ninth day in the business, eighth, ninth day of the business, I started to make $132. Mm-hmm. This was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. This was so unbelievable. You, you planted a you bunch of seeds and all of a sudden those seeds came to fruition. All of those seeds started to, to sprout. In other words, you were planting, yeah, seeds, planting was, seeds and all of a sudden uh, the garden started to come up. Exactly. So the people that had spoken to about the business and they had said no now they were looking at the opportunity saying Julius it seems your business must be working let me get in let me try it mm-hmm. let me try it all the people had spoken to the business from uh, uh, from the 12th to the 21st now had uh, seen this looks be good and so I started to make 132 181 115 and I, it was history now I had enough money for myself I had enough money for my for my personal use, I even started to trade. I started to invest in, uh, I think, two hundred dollars, and I saw some little profits start coming in. I said, "This is good to go now. Let's go. Let's go." So mm. now I, I shared with my team members. I told Ida Doris, "If you don't have capital, don't trade. Share the opportunity." And there I remember is. when uh, one of the leaders today that I made is close to sixty thousand dollars. One of the people making more money now by the names of Jatin in India. When he started. He told me, Julius, me, I only want to trade. I already, my brother, you don't know what you're talking about. I've tested, I've proven. Trading alone pays little money. Today, as I speak, Jatin is making over $1,000 a day. He's a V5 in the business. I told him, he was telling me, no, 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 me, I know robots. I told him, my brother, it doesn't matter whether you know robots, whether I have experience in robots, whether you know how to mingle with robots, whether you know how to set robots, Mm -hmm. we are here to make money. So get out of your comfort zone. If you need money, let us go and share the business. And today as we speak, Jatin has had a leader who joined in three days and became a V3. In four days, he became a V3. Four days, he became a created three V2s. Four days, he's now a V3. I told him, I remember when you when he when he got started, he told me, I remember I was misleading myself only focusing on trades because the trading profits will always be limited by the capital and the market. And if someone is not trading with ten thousand dollars and above, he better wakes up and starts talking about the business. All else, they are pretending that they don't need money. But if they need money to achieve their goals and have an end in the mind then they better share the business. There it is. Yep. That's... So without having money is not an excuse. No, 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 no. You don't have the money, but there is um, Mr. Robert who has the money to trade. So what's your duty is to teach Mr. Robert how it works. If he says, no, it's okay. It's none of your business. He has something that could be paying him better. So you speak to Stephen. When Stephen says, yes, I usually share how I usually do. Me, I don't run ads. Like maybe me, I do my business. I call it a manual strategy. I manually, uh, okay, let me just switch on my video. Okay, it says it's there, right? Let me just go here. So, uh, like you see, you see, when I come here on Facebook, I call it, uh, for example, I'll give an example of. Uh, let's see. 
okay. For example, uh, this is uh, okay. This is uh, this is Franklin Noel's. Franklin Noel's uh, works as an allergist, okay, trader. So I inbox him, good evening, I'm from Uganda, good day, he introduces himself. So I tell him, okay, wow, I'm a medical practitioner, crypto trader with Royal Crypto Trading Board. I don't waste time. Good evening, my leader. I have a big project that can pay you over 10,000 US dollars per day. No binary, no qualifications, because he's a networker. And today we have been discussing business. So I focus on sharing the opportunity. I don't focus on results. Mm -hmm. The reason why I may not sleep tonight is because now I have an end in mind goal. So I have a goal of making $300,000 in my next 90 days. Even if I don't make that money and I make a quarter of that money, I'll be successful. Even if I make half of that money, I'll be successful. Mm -hmm. So I'm now focusing on sharing the opportunity to as many people as possible. So that's what I encourage someone who doesn't have capital to find people who have the capital and they're looking where to put their money. Sure. Or find people who don't have the capital but are willing to have the boat so that they can make more life changing income per day. Makes total sense to me. I had a feeling that's how you were going to answer. And I'm so appreciative of you doing so, um, you know, and, and painting that picture because. It's, it's such a compelling, compelling business. Your story is, is one of the most compelling I've heard. And the idea that people can come here and really have very little resources, but have life-changing income if they're willing to really, really engage and really get to work and make the calls and do this, you know, have those mental pictures that you describe. In other words, that type of, of goal and clarity of, of reaching the end result makes a huge difference. It really does. In other words, I have similar goals, which are coincidentally real estate related, um, because I think we're going to be in a situation here where we have a real big sale on real estate. It's about time we have one, just like you know the crypto market goes up and then it has corrections. Well, we need that in the real estate market. When it has the correction, I want to have enough cash on hand that I can buy real estate here and retail real estate in particular, if you can figure out how to change use can be a very, very good uh, investment, you know, commercial real estate. So coincidental, uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, the, the idea, you know, the idea of having storage income, uh, we have a thing called mobile home parks, which are little communities that have uh, mobile homes on them. And then the person buys their mobile home and then they pay rent on the pad that they put it on. It's one of the best investments in commercial real estate. So one day, maybe we'll be talking about you buying commercial real estate here and me buying commercial real estate in Uganda. Crazier things have happened. You know, um, yeah. so very, very cool, man. I sure appreciate it. I will, uh, I'll, I'll I'll turn this into a to a video. I think it'll be very interesting and very compelling for many people. So again, as always, thank you. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Robert. Let me get into uh, preparation to start working. God bless you and bye. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Uh,